key is to keep things simple so people have an operable framework in their mind as they're carrying their firearm for self-defense. In Illinois it is, it's radically different. You have a duty to retreat even in your home if you're confronted with a threat. In Missouri, we have the castle doctrine so that you have no duty to retreat if you're in a castle doctrine location, which the most common ones are a person's home and a person's car. But uh, the castle doctrine, as I indicated, is a kind of a presumption shifter. So you have very little to demonstrate if you have to use force to protect yourself other than, hey, I was in fear of my life or, or that of my family and uh, had to use force to protect myself. So at that point, the burden legally shifts to the prosecutor to prove that that wasn't reasonable. So that, that's a very hard thing for the prosecutor to prove because they have to get inside your mind and prove that it wasn't reasonable for you to think that. Whereas if you step outside of the Castle Doctrine location, that presumption flips over and you have more to prove that it was reasonable under the circumstances for you to use force to protect yourself. Stand Your Ground uh, is a new development under the Missouri law, not the Illinois law. But essentially the Stand Your Ground, I tell folks, don't use that as a basis to think differently about when you would use force. It's a good idea. Missouri used to be a duty to retreat state. So if you're confronted with a th threat, you had to try to get away from it, it by all means possible, rather than use force to protect yourself. Now we're a stand your ground state. I say think, think of it the same way. If you can safely avoid the confrontation, then do so, get away. Don't use the stand your ground law as, as a basis to embolden yourself to someone kind of flinches their face the wrong way and you blast them. No, that, that's not what it means at all. Uh, I like to say it's more of a legal kind of safety net for folks. If you have to, if you're forced to use force to protect yourself, now the stand your ground law uh, makes it harder for the prosecution to argue that you should have done something differently.